Sources are what generates rays in an optic studio simulation. And if we look under the type of object, you'll see that we can have sources, objects, and detectors as object types. So I'm going to choose sources here. And now Optic Studio shows me all the sources that it supports. And there are many that are useful for all sorts of purposes, such as points, uh, rectangles, cylinders, uh, discs, and so on. There are specific laser diode models. We have EU LUMDAT and IESNA file models, uh, and a whole range of them. And the more important point to make here is that the more measured data you can have, the better. So you might start off a design with maybe a filament uh, model, uh, but you end up using measured data uh, using the source file. And here I have, as an example, uh, some of the data from our radiant source model catalog here. And this is uh, a, a catalog we can download from our website. You can download individual models, you can view them, you can generate rays from them. And this is uh, some measured data from a specific Cree uh, LED. And you can see that there's a lot of data uh, going on here, first of all about the colours, uh, but also about the spatial distribution of these uh, um, uh, sources. And also, you know, you're getting things like electrodes causing some binding and such like there. So in addition to this kind of viewer, you also have IES models, which you can view. You can add spectral uh, source information to any source that doesn't already have it. And you can look at things like source directivity plots, polar plots, the spectrum of a source, and so on. So sources are very, very um, general. If you're using a source that uh, it doesn't have colour information. You can provide that in a number of ways. You can just enter a tri-stimulus point directly. Um, you could give it some chromaticity XY and give it any, any kind of spectrum, including spectrum files, which you just load from uh, a, a disk. So you, have, you can simply apply uh, a spectrum to an existing source.